Arctic sea ice reached its annual minimum extent, September 19th, and again September 23rd, 2018. NASA works with the National Snow and Ice Data Center to track sea ice in the Arctic. Each year, it grows to a maximum extent through the winter and shrinks to its minimum extent at the end of summer. This year's minimum sea ice extent reached 1.77 million square miles. It's tied with 2008 and 2010 as the sixth lowest Arctic sea ice minimum since consistent satellite records began. We need every single data point to string together a really nice time series, and that helps us understand the interannual variability and also the long-term trend. NASA has been observing changes in the polar sea ice covers for more than 40 years. NASA studies the Arctic and Antarctic sea ice covers in several ways. So with NASA's Operation Ice Bridge, it's an airborne mission. They'll fly every spring over the sea ice cover. And another way that we measure sea ice is using passive microwave. So this is an instrument that can see through clouds, essentially, and tells us where the ice is. In addition to the 40-year passive microwave record, a new NASA satellite called ISAT-2 will provide a new and important collection of sea ice observations. ISAT-2 just launched, and what it's measuring is really, really exciting. So I was talking about before how passive microwave tells us where the sea ice is. What ISAT-2 is going to do is tell us how thick the ice cover is. So it's measuring the freeboard of the sea ice cover. This is the amount of the ice that floats above the sea level line, just like an ice cube in a glass of water. And we can use that to calculate how thick the underlying ice is. Thickness is an important measure of sea ice health, and studying it helps scientists understand how the Arctic is changing. We're seeing a decline in sea ice thickness and sea ice age, meaning that the ice is no longer perennial, but it's transitioning more to a seasonal type of ice, and also in its extent. There are two types of ice in the Arctic. There's old ice and young ice. Perennial ice being the stuff that lasts multiple years, and then seasonal ice, the stuff that melts back every summer. And so there are some pretty big differences between those two ice types. Starting with the seasonal ice, this is ice that forms when the ocean freezes, so it actually has salt in it. It's very saline because it's forming from seawater. This stuff is usually thinner than the older ice, and because it has more salt, it's usually weaker in its structure, so it's easier to break up. For the older ice, this stuff's a lot thicker, a lot fresher and stronger, so it has more resilience during the summer melt season than thinner ice. With the successful launch of ISAT-2, NASA scientists will link the records of sea ice extent, age, and thickness to better understand how Earth's polar regions are changing.